I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's what you need to know today. First, Chattanooga Police Detective Carl Fields has been fired. He was accused of sexually harassing a rape victim in a case he was working on and asking her for nude photos. Fields is the third Chattanooga police officer to be fired this week on misconduct charges. David Ketchings Jr. had been charged with DUI, and Sergeant Kevin Kinzer was charged with theft. Now Chief Fred Fletcher is seeking decertification for all three so that they can no longer work as officers in the state of Tennessee. A former director at the Church of God headquarters in Cleveland has confessed to stealing nearly a million dollars from the denomination. Federal prosecutors originally accused Troy Scott Carter of stealing $100,000, but when he pleaded guilty Wednesday, he admitted to taking nearly nine times that amount. Carter embezzled the money by making fake invoices for church events. He was employed there from 2004 to 2013. Now he'll have to pay a $100 fine and serve up to 10 years in prison. Authorities say the five-year-old boy found dead in Marion County over the weekend died of blunt force trauma to the head. The TBI is now treating the death of Lucas Michael Dillon as a homicide investigation. Anyone with information is asked to call the TBI. Senator Todd Gardenhire cussed at a supporter of Insure Tennessee. East Ridge resident Trey Haggard caught it on video. Take a look. Senator Gardenhire, are you willing to give up your health insurance? Senator Gardenhire, <laughs> give it up. Garden Hire is one of five senators voting against Insure Tennessee who receives taxpayer subsidized insurance himself. He makes no apology for his vulgar language and says the group only wanted to make a scene. The Tennessee Senate has voted to allow handguns at the state capitol. Senator Jeff Yarbrough is behind the measure. He added the amendment to try to block a bill allowing guns in public parks, but the Senate approved it anyway, 28 to 0. Now it heads back to the Tennessee House. House Majority Leader Gerald McCormick says capital security is alarmed. Two top officials at Habitat for Humanity of Cleveland have resigned. Executive Director Matt Carlson and Operations Director J. Michael Watkins are both out. Local media reports the resignations are connected to an audit performed early last month, but Habitat refuses to comment. CARTA is expanding its bus routes to include Enterprise South. The industrial park is home to two of the city's largest employers, Volkswagen and Amazon. An express route to take riders between Enterprise South and downtown will launch May 4th. A freight train collided with a tractor trailer in Trenton, Georgia Wednesday. Authorities say the train split the vehicle in half. There were no injuries and officials are investigating what caused the accident. A 34-year-old Chattanooga woman has been charged with vehicular homicide. Deborah Carney crashed into a tree on Interstate 24 more than a year ago. Her passenger, 69-year-old James Ledford, died from his injuries. Police say Carney was intoxicated and driving on a revoked license. She already had three other DUI convictions. Now she's being held on a $100,000 bond. Police are looking for a man who escaped from the Moccasin Bend Mental Health Institute. Authorities say Mark Smalley was wearing gray sweatpants. Anyone with information is asked to call the police. Finally, a bill to ban passengers from drinking in vehicles on Tennessee roads has failed. Turning to weather, we'll see thunderstorms today with a high near 75 degrees. Tonight's low will be around 59. That's it for today's news. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.